Harkening back to the time when sporty scooters were ridden by the young and beautiful, the 2016 Sprint 150 ABS and its sport collection sibling, 2016 Sprint S 150 ABS, are a marriage of old world design and technology. I'm not going to say vintage, but it's more like the first really sexy update of the vintage designs we saw in the 1960s and maybe into the 1970s. Vespa touts this as the return of the Vespinoa sporty small body scooter. With a maximum speed of 59 miles per hour, you're not heading on the highway with this little guy, but for spins around town, on the campus and local commutes, the Sprint 150 ABS is a sweet little ride. According to my gal pal, Andrea Callaway, at the Transportation Revolution, New Orleans, the 150 cubic centimeters Vespa's weight capacity is 500 pounds. I didn't test it, but she's a motorbike specialist over there at Truno, so she would know, yeah. The retro style of the Sprint 150 is evident in the rectangular headlight, the more traditional step through, a tail light cluster right out of the 1960s and curvy body panels, all melding with the techno updates apparent in the LED running lights, the presence of ABS and a combination of analog and digital instrumentation. Under seat storage is spacious enough for a full face helmet no surprise there. The Sprint 150 ABS features a more comfortable saddle and passenger handles for a friend. New last year, the Sprint S150 ABS sports a rather spiffy racing stripe to lend an on-the-go vibe even when standing still. Piaggio has been in the scooter business for quite a while, and the original Vespa released in 1946 helped to define the motorized scooter genre. In light of that, it comes as no surprise that the 2016 Vespa Sprint 150 ABS follows the stereotypical scooter form with its step-through midsection and leg guard front fairing. Instead of starting on any sort of heavy underframe, the Vespa's load-bearing structure uses the stamped, sheet metal body panels in a monocoque unibody structure. This keeps weight down, and welded reinforcements buttress the stress points to complete the structure and help provide the necessary rigidity. Best of all, if damaged, you can cut the front fairing free and have another fitted and welded. That way, you won't have to trash the scooter for a minor fender bender as long as the main body structure remains intact and undistorted. At 31.1 inches high, the seat falls within the usual size bracket, and the 73.2 inch overall length provides a little more legroom than usual, so this Vespa should fit a slightly wider range of body styles than would normally fit on a typical 155 cubic centimeters ride. The front suspension uses a single-sided, trailing link setup with a dual-action, coilover mono shock to provide 3.07 inches of travel, and the swing mount motor slash swing arm assembly rides on a coilover mono shock with a preload adjustment and 2.75 inches of travel. While these aren't stellar numbers, they are plenty for such a light ride, and within industry norms. All around 12-inch hoops make the scooter to road connection, and a 200 mm hydraulic brake disc with ABS binds the front wheel. The rear brake is a 140 mm mechanical drum, and as much as I dislike drum brakes, it does accentuate the retro Vespa style, and it's strong enough to keep the ride under control. A one-banger, four-stroke engine drives the Wasp up to 59 miles per hour at an astounding 117 mpg so this is truly an around the world on three tablespoons of gas ride. The nearly square engine produces 12.7 ponies at 7,750 rpm, and 9.4 pound-feet of grunt at 6,500, due in part to the efficiency of the fuel injection system. Though it is air-cooled, the air is forced over the engine by a fan to prevent overheating when stuck in slow or even no-go traffic. A continuously variable transmission CVT, provides twist and go functionality, and a dry centrifugal clutch eliminates the need to coordinate a clutch with the throttle for easy peasy operation as you zip around town. MSRP on the 2016 Sprint 150 ABS is $5,199 and comes in Rosso Dragon, Monte Bianco, Blue Gola, Giallo Positano. 
That's red, white, blue, and yellow if your Italian is a bit rusty. If you want black, you'll have to head over the border to Canada, since black is not available in the US market. Vespa covers your Sprint 150 ABS with a two-year unlimited mileage warranty and throws in a year of roadside assistance through Road America for free.